43 project of this course so in this video we are going to be building this email validation component by just using html css and javascript so now let's suppose if i type something in this email right here so here you can see it log uses this cross icon right here that's because our email is not valid so now let's suppose if i just type a valid email like academy webdev at gmail.com so here you can see run log uses this valid icon right here because our email is now valid so run log uses this check mark right here okay and if i type like something else like uh, i don't know like something else uh, something else so here you can see run log uses this cross icon so this is what we are going to be building in this video so without wasting any further time now let's jump right into our coder and write our code so if you want to follow along you have to grab these two images the first one will be invalid and the second one will be valid okay so link will be in the description if you want to go to my github repository so now here i'm going to just create three files given name of like index.html then create one more style style.css and then the third one will be for app.js for javascript so now let's just make our registry recorder a little bit bigger so that we can see everything a bit better all right so this is our html and now the first thing i would do is i'll just write an email validation as a title and then link it with my css and also with my javascript okay so now let's just hire our metas right click on it open with live server and now we are good to go so as a html we are going to be writing first of all a form with the class of main form okay and then the action will be goes to nowhere and here we are going to be just writing like input and the text the time will be text and the id will be just like input box okay and then we are going to be providing our placeholder of your email dot 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 save it and this is how it looks like right now so now let's jump right into the css and now let's just do our styling the first thing i would do is i'll select everything and i'll provide a margin of zero padding of zero this will be our resets box sizing of border box and font family will be sans serif okay and you can choose whichever kind of font you like and then i want to go to body and then provide main height to it i got just a little bit of main height of 100 ph display will be totally flex and then flex direction will be colon align items will be center and then justify corner will be center as well and now let's change the background color to this like two four two um eight and then finally just add like 37 okay so that's that and now let's just check it and this is how it looks like right now okay so the next thing which you have to do is to select our main form okay which is this one right here main form so now let's select that all right so inside there we are going to be providing like position of relative and width will be 380 pixels so now let me just write there and padding will be just 25 pixel maybe and then background let's just change the background to um, 151 151 and a26 okay so this will be our background and now let's just put a little bit of border radius of like 10 pixels display will be flex uh, justify corner will be center align items will be center as well so once we save it and now here you can see this is how it looks like right now and now let's jump right into body.main form and then select our input which is inside this form right here so now let's just provide a little bit of position of absolute to it top will be zero left will be zero uh, width will be 100 percent and height will be 100 percent as well and then we have a background of not just color but background of none outline of none border of none and then finally we are going to be just adding a padding of 15 pixels okay and then color will be totally white and display will be flex justify counter will be center align item will be center save it and this is how it looks like right now okay so the next thing which you have to do is that we have to select this placeholder right here and now let's just style that so for that we are going to be writing first of all let's just select our body then main form and then input and then placeholder okay and now we'll just provide a color of totally ccc and font where it will be 400 and then font size we have is 14 pixels save it and this is now it's look like right here okay and now let's just finally select our classes for javascript because we are going to be adding these classes once we jump right into a javascript and you cannot see them right away so we are going to be writing a form 
uh, if this form is invalid so we want to provide a before start word okay so we want to provide like content will be nothing position will be absolute right will be just 14 pixel and then the background will be just url and now here we have to just choose our background which is these images and this invalid and now let's just write like no repeat and also center okay so that's that and now we'll just write a background size of cover because we want these images to be cover and also the width will be just 22 pixels and the height will be also 22 pixel height will be 22 pixels as well and then we have an object fit of cover and finally let's just add a little bit of transition to it so transition of 0 0.4 second is severed and now let's just duplicate it for the invalid and one as well duplicate it and instead of valid let's change it to uh instead of invalid let's just change it to in let's just change it to valid that's what i'm talking about so now let's just change it to valid as well and i guess everything is um, perfect and you know what uh yeah everything is perfect the way it is okay and you cannot see them right away because we have to use these classes on our javascript so now I, we are almost done with the html css so now let's jump right into a javascript and now let's just provide a little bit of interactivity to it so the first thing i would do is i'll just get my input from my html so I'll just write like get element by id of input box and this is the id which we provide right here like input box and then just write like um, input dot add event listener. So whenever we type something on that input, so we want to provide like uh, key down. So whenever we type something on that input box, so you want to just find this event. So like valid date, okay, valid date. So we are not going to be calling there. So now let's just create this function like valid date. And now inside that, I'm going to just write like log of hello or oh, hello save it and now let's just open if you type something in it so here you can see it will now gives us this hello right here okay three times because we type three times in it so this is that the next thing which you have to do is to remove this console log from there and let's just write or boom and it will be now equals to in document dot query selector and now let's just get our main form which is this form right here this main form and now let's just write like let pattern uh we are going to be writing a pattern or a regular expression or regex so if you don't understand this code so don't sweat it i'm going to make a video on that or maybe entire uh section of these regex because regular expressions are really hard and a huge topic to understand so if you want to learn more about that so you can just quick google like uh, what is regex or regular expression so it will just tell you the result all right so here i'm going to write a regular expression right here so i'll just write this one and it's all of the symbols and which allows us to just validate our forms and whatnot okay let me copy this one paste it here and then we have to add and now that's that take it from a to lowercase c and now let's just write two comma three and dollar sign and then close it okay so this will be our pattern and now let's just do our check if input dot value is a match to this pattern so then you want to just uh, provide a clauses of like form class list dot add and you want to just write a valid form to it and we also want to remove that class list from of our invalid from it okay so if that's true so run this code provide the valid class and remove the invalid class and if that's not true so you are going to be just writing a form dot class list dot add and we are going to be just using invalid and we are going to be also uh, removing that valid one Okay, so I'll just remove that valid from here and now we are good to go. So once we save our file and now let's just check it. So if you type something, so here you can see it will now gives us like this email is not equal to this uh, pattern right here, like these regular expression. So if you type something else like um, something else, so it will still not work. But if I just use something else at the red of gmail.com so here you can see our email is valid so that's why we are getting this check mark right here let me just provide my own email like uh, webdevacademy 
uh, six at the red gmail.com and that's valid so we are getting that as a valid sign all right so this is what i want to show you in this video so if you guys don't know about get and github so feel free to skip this video and jump right into the next one and if you guys already know get and github and want to push your code into your github repository so this is what i'm going to do right now so let me just check like get status and we have 043 so now let's just add that to our staging area and then do a commit for that and then just write like uh email validation okay and now let's just push it to our github repository and now that's that and we are live now so if i just refresh it and check for the 43 projects so this is our 43 project and now here you can see we have these images right here and then we have this index.html file if you want to grab this code and if you want to grab the javascript code like just for regular expression and then if you want to just grab a styling so you can also grab there all right so this is what i want to show in this video so i think that was about today's video and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye